At your end step, I'll activate Mimic Vet to make a copy of Creekwood Leech. You're just gonna have to sacrifice it once my turn is over, right? The word at means that it's a triggered ability that would go on the stack at the start of the phase that it's supposed to go off. So since you activated that after the beginning of my end step, the trigger from Mimic Vet's going to be missed. Not missed, but delayed. It'll wait till the next beginning of end step for the trigger to go on the stack. That means you'll have that token active until then. Yep, which I'll go ahead and start my turn, and Creekwood Leech will trigger to make a worm token. Could I get some of those, by the way? Oh, sure. Have some. Bro, chill! Here's my worm token, I'll go ahead and draw, and then main phase, I'll activate Mimic Vet to make another copy. Man, so rude! I'll move to end step, and now we can put the delayed triggers on the stack. Finally. But while the triggers are on the stack, I'm gonna activate Sundial of the Infinite to end the turn. So what happens to those triggers? Ending the turn abruptly like that, exiles all spells and abilities from the stack, removes all creatures from combat, and then skips phases and steps all the way to cleanup. So you waited till the delay triggers officially hit the stack and then remove them forever, meaning you get to keep the liege tokens indefinitely? Yep. You are so rude. Give me back my worm Whoa, token. whoa, what got you so ruffled? 